Hi everyone, it's Shachimu. Today's video has been sponsored by Amino. For those of you who don't know what Amino is, it's a network of apps that are gathering spaces for different communities or fandoms. Today we're going to be talking about the Arts and OCs Amino. It's perfect for making art friends by commenting and liking other people's posts. There's also lots of chats you can join to talk to friends or meet new people. The app also allows you to be super interactive with your followers. You can post polls, Q&As, and other community type posts to your audience. I myself have made a Q&A, so please be sure to go there and ask questions you'd like answered from me. You can come join Amino by following the link in the description or by clicking the link in the pinned comment. Be sure to follow me there if you want to stay up to date with the art I do outside of YouTube. Thank you to Amino for sponsoring this video. Now let's get started with the speed paint. So I decided to try doing the art style challenge featuring other artists on YouTube. I asked for suggestions from my subscribers, and the most recommended to me was definitely Wolfie Chu. Wolfie Chu has an anime style that's kept very simplistic for animated story time and animatic videos. My style also takes inspiration from anime, so trying to recreate hers was quite easy for me. It may have actually been the easiest. While I was looking for reference pictures, I found past illustrations she did that had more detailed coloring, which definitely would have taken more for me to attempt replicating, so I decided to reference how she drew her main sprites in her YouTube. I also felt it would be more recognizable if I stuck to just how she did her YouTube art. I ended up having to resize the drawing because I realized that the canvas I was using was too small and if I continued to do all the other styles like this, they would come out not very high quality. <laughs> That's why this one in particular looks very pixelated so I'm sorry about that. The second style I did was Rosalie? 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 I'm, I'm not sure, I'm very sorry. I really like how recognizable and unique her style is. The way she does eyes specifically is really appealing to me and definitely sticks out. To be honest, I don't think I'd usually like the long eyes and thick eyelash look, but she executes it very well and it goes well with how she draws the rest of the facial features. Her style was one of the most difficult for me to do for sure. Her color choices and soft shading are similar to how I've done coloring before, but her drawing style is far different than anything I'm used to. Another factor I believe made this difficult was that she doesn't have many human drawings. That might just be me trying to make an excuse for myself for struggling so much with this, because the faces she does do resemble humans greatly, minus the nose and ears. The third style I did was Cardia. I was actually inspired to do this video by Cardia's video of her doing different art styles from other artists. So I really like Cardia's style and color choices. I'm usually drawn to cool pastel colors. I was really surprised when I found her style to also be a huge challenge for me though. I tried looking at different drawings and tried to pinpoint a few things that made her style so different from mine, or just different from what I'm used to doing. She does sharper and straighter lines more often, and her shading is usually a pinker hue. There were a few other things I noticed, but I really struggled to incorporate them into my attempt and was not satisfied with the outcome. Not so much because I don't think it looks good, a lot of what I took from her style I actually really like, but I just failed at replicating her. This shows I have a lot of room for improvement when it comes to analyzing her and stepping away from what I'm used to.
The fourth style I did was seal maru. I myself don't draw animals or creatures really, but I really like their art. It's bright, but it's also subtle at the same time, so it makes it kind of soft too. I don't know if that explains it. I just really like their color choices. It's clear they know what looks good with what color. To be honest, I was intimidated by their illustrations, so I went for references that came from their YouTube videos and animations. It was still super difficult for me to do their style though. Even though I referenced anthro art, the faces still kept a lot of animalistic features, so I was a little worried with trying a human face. I think this one too, I really failed with replicating the style. My goal was to make it clear whose style I was drawing in from a first glance, and I don't think anyone would recognize this one as being referenced from Seal. The fifth style is my own, kind of. To be honest, I still don't feel like I have a very consistent style. I don't know if people can recognize my art easily, which I don't really mind right now. My current goals are to improve with anatomy, coloring, and really thinking about what I'm drawing. So I'll worry about an original style I can stick to in the future if I ever get to a point where I desire that. I decided to go for a simple coloring so I wouldn't spend too much time on a single drawing. I wanted to try to spend equal amount on all of them if possible. To be honest, I really don't like how this drawing turned out. It's not something I would have been happy with were it a drawing I did outside of this video. I was tempted to redo it, but I had already redone three previous drawings and told myself not to do that anymore. I'm not quite sure what sticks out from my art style, if anything at all. Maybe the eyes? If you guys have any ideas of what makes you know something is my style, you should tell me. Yeah. The sixth style was Reineko's style. This is actually her old style. Her more recent art is quite different than what I referenced from, and it's still really beautiful, but I was really interested in attempting her old style. I definitely spent the most time on this one since I found myself really enjoying the process. It was very soothing to draw in her style. Her lines are soft. I also really like the white outlines around the line art that give it more of a pop. That and the sparkles added all around. Like I said before, it was very enjoyable doing this one, and I think it was my favorite style to replicate, and it's also my favorite outcome. In my opinion, I think it stands out the most of all the other styles. The seventh style I did was Vivzi Pop. That's hard to say. I realized the majority of the styles I had done so far had elements of anime or were leaning towards anime style, and I thought people would get bored of me only doing styles I was more familiar with, or from the outside it seems I was more familiar with, so I decided to do Vivzi Pop, who has a very western cartoon style. Her style is really interesting. It allows her to create very unique characters with personality traits you can simply read from how they appear, whether it be by body language, expression, or even colors or what they wear. Her ability to express emotion is amazing too. 
This comes in handy with the fact she's primarily an animator. I decided to take references from her animations, which was kind of cheating since the coloring and line work in them are far more simplistic since she's doing a bunch of frames. Just the difference of characteristics in her style is enough to challenge me though. I really don't know how to express Mumble and her personality properly with this style. It made me realize I really don't know much about expression or the physical attributes that come with different emotions. I also wasn't sure how to do her hair in this style. A note on the attempt itself, I do feel I made the line art too thick compared to what she usually does. I, I, I tried though. <laughs> The eighth style I did was Lavender Town. I didn't know much about Lavender Town before, but have seen her videos recommended to me on YouTube many times. Her style reminds me a lot of illustrations from a children's book. I also like how in her art, the line art looks as if it was done with a pen on paper. It's not done perfectly straight or round, and I don't know why, but that makes it more fitting for her art style. I think it's cool how she usually does something interesting for the iris shape, like hearts, stars, or even symbols that could represent the character she's drawing. Although I think it's obvious I was going for her style, I still don't think I did a very good job at replicating it. The way I drew the head and how I placed the eyes didn't quite match to what she did. There's more to it that throws me off from feeling like I did an accurate recreation, but those are the main things. Overall, it was fun to try this style. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, it was 2am and I had been drawing for hours. I was ready to be finished with the styles for this challenge, so I went ahead and found the simplest, easiest style I could do, and that style was the odd ones out. I think everyone can agree it's a very easy style to replicate. Although it's simple, it's still very easily recognizable. Seeing what I made just from the sketch, you would immediately know what I was going for. I do think the dress and hair don't quite look right or completely fit with the style. I don't know how he himself would draw those features, but... I guess, and yeah, I was tired, but I tried. So that was my attempt at 9 different artist styles. I hope you all enjoyed the video and if you did, please be sure to subscribe for more content. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you again soon. Well, goodbye!